hello everyone um, welcome back to my channel um, I've got a little bit of information here for anybody who is using this poodle yarn um, a pom-pom yarn or whatever you call it um, I've I need to put a um, start a new ball it took me a little while to work this out um, I could have went online myself and found out but I like to, to find to work things out for myself so when you join this this yarn it's not simple so the way I do it you need a bob and a thread well I, I'm using white because there's a lot of um, white in this um, but you'll need the colour whatever colour you're, um, you're doing in it in a needle a pair of scissors which I've got and I can show you what happens if you um I'm in the middle and I've noticed there's a join in the yarn that was actually in the ball when I started uh, knitting and this is what happens you can see that um you can see how the um the pom-poms all came in this one bit this is where whoever spun the yarn um, has joined joined it together and there's two little bits of pom-pom and they just stick out I've tried to pull them together when I'm knitting but they just stick out like this so I'm going to take that row out and um, add a new ball to the, um, the start there is still a little bit left on this one but it's not worth doing it uh, you know again for just that little bit I'll just keep that little bit till I'm finished and um, I'm going to do um you put a new ball on but I'll show you um what I do so this is the the scarf that you all know I've been doing and I've come to to have to put a new ball there's a uh, a few strands of it um left but there's a join in the um here you can see they've joined the people who've spun this stuff um, they've joined two together and that's what happens you end up with that sticking out of the thing and spoiling the um the look of it and there's only a little short bit of yarn in the middle of that to do you should have a longer bit like that so i'm going to show you um how i join on a new ball You need bobbin of thread, needle, which I've already threaded. It took me ages to thread this. I'll have to, to give in and <laughs> I need one of those things for shoving through the needle to um to thread because I can't see the eye anymore. So that's the needle and pair of scissors. And this here I'm going to cut it off from this bubble here. That's where the join is, that one there, but I'm going to cut it off from this bubble here. That's that bit out. So I'm left with that bit without any bubble on the end. And I'll take the new ball. And look for the that's that the little end there is too short so i'm going to cut it off from here from the other end of the um the pom-pom i've got that end like that and this one on here and you place those two pieces of yarn together like that and that's where the needle comes in because you have to stitch those pieces down And then you have to stitch them all the way down from one pom-pom to the next. And 
And this is the only way I've tried tying knots in like that one I showed you that um, the makers had um, done and it just, just doesn't work and I've tried putting strands like that together to do it but you end up with with two like that stuck together so you can't do it that way either and this is the only way and I looked online after I had worked this out for myself and I found I think there was one or two other people had put um, videos up they had done this so my brain works the same way as a lot of other people <laughs> find our own way of doing things And you have to sew it all the way down um, or else uh, the pieces might come apart later on. It doesn't have to be any special sewing. You don't have to be a perfect um, sewer because uh, it's not seen afterwards. And that's what I've done with every ball that I've joined on um, what I've done this this is the um this will make the sixth ball that um, I've done And this should be my last stitch in there and then fasten it off. There, so that's that joined on. Not perfect, so he's not perfect, but nobody's going to see that because it's going to be in the middle of the um the line down um where the pom poms meet. And then you just knit it in as usual. And when you come to that bit you'll find well you've got double double the thickness of the um the yarn. And that's all there is to it. there very simple very easy so if you like my video give it a thumbs up give it a like and subscribe and i'll let you see more when i get more done so bye for now